In this tutorial, we're going to be having a look at sequences, in particular, arithmetic sequences. So looking at this question here, it says the 20th term of an arithmetic regression is 10, and the 50th term is 70. Find the first term in the common difference, show that the sum of the first 29 terms is 0. Well, first of all, we need to consult our formula sheet here. So the formula sheet gives us the formula that we're going to need for this. The first one is that the nth term of any sequence is a plus n minus 1 d and that the sum of n terms is a half n 2a plus n minus 1 d or an alternative formula a half n equals a half n a plus l right so Looking at the information we're given in the question, it says the 20th term of an arithmetic progression is 10. Okay, the 20th term is 10. So U20, the 20th term, the formula for that, according to this, so the 20th term, n equals 20, so it's a plus n minus 1, while n is 20, so a plus 19 d. And it tells us that the 20th term is equal to 10. Also, the 50th term, U50, is A plus 49D, which is equal to 70. As we can see here now, we've got two sets of simultaneous equations to solve. Well, luckily, our calculator has a function for solving equations. So if we go into equation mode on the calculator, simultaneous, and there's two unknowns, A and D. So in this particular question... I'm going to make my a the x variable and the d the y variable. So 1a, 19d is 10. 1a, 49d is 70. And we can see that a is minus 28. a equals minus 28. And d equals 2. So we've found the first term and the common difference. Okay, part two. And that was part one. Part two, show that the sum of the first 29 terms is zero. Okay, let's find the sum of the first 29 terms. But because it's a show that question, we simply can't just use the calculator. What we need to do is show full working. So the sum of the first 29 terms, well, what we need to do in these questions always start with writing what the variables are equal to so we can see that a is minus 28 d is 2 and the number of terms that we're summing n is 29 so the sum of the first 29 terms is 1 half 29 1 half n 2a plus n minus 1 that's 28 D, okay, equals, so let's just check this in our calculator, so let's go back, ordinary calculation mode, so, one half, type in the calculator exactly what appears on the screen, 29, open bracket, 2 lots of minus 28, plus 28 lots of 2, which is equal to 0. And this working here is enough to score full marks.